Yeah. Chris Pretty Swanson, well. NCAA champion in the 1650 tonight in a 1431. But let's talk about that race a little bit. What could you see throughout the entire race? Going out, you're, you're kind of there, you're sort of in, in the top three for a lot of the race, and then obviously the ridiculous 24 coming home. Um, I guess the strategy going into it was to stay calm. Uh, I mean, you have some incredibly fast guys in that heat. I mean, you saw, I saw yesterday, Tommy Haas went 130.4, which is ridiculous. Yeah. So like that's the speed that I was racing against. So I guess my strategy was just to be within range of all those guys uh, and then try to strike at the end. Um, and it seems to have worked out. <laughs> Did you think you were going to have that much left, though? Uh, you know, I don't really think about that during the race, uh, but I always know that if I look over at uh, my teammates uh, at the end of the race, that they'll really get me mm -hmm. get me through it in the end, and that's what they did. They were going wild. Like, I've never seen them jump around so much, so that really powered me through the end of that race when I was hurting. Did you see him, uh, Akram, as, as, uh, as you were moving into that last uh, 100 or at any point prior to that? Um, I thought he was really far ahead of me with like pr for pretty much the whole race, uh, I thought he. I was just trying to go for second, and then with a 75 left, I thought I saw someone that could have been him, uh, and really thought, all right, if I just buckle down, maybe I can do this. Uh, and then with the 50 left, I saw my teammates, like I said, going crazy, and then I was like, all right, this definitely has to be him. They wouldn't be going nuts if it wasn't. And then with a 25 left, I saw him, looked over, saw him once, but didn't want to look over again. Just put my head down and try to sprint it. And, Ended up working out well. Well, you went a, uh, a 50 plus. He went a, a 54 on that lap. It was uh, it was exciting to watch from the the press bench where you just kind of reeled him in and mm -hmm. 12 one hundreds at the end. Yeah. But what's it, it like to have a mile come down to that though? It's pretty wild. Um, I've actually faced a couple of uh, distance races where I've lost by that much. So it always is a, a bummer when that happens. But I guess it's part of the sport. Uh, I mean, that being said, like he swam a great race. Uh, you never want to see someone die at the end, but like, I mean, he's going to have a great career going forward. Mm -hmm. He's incredibly fast. What's this mean for the Penn program? Uh, it's it's big. Um, I don't think we've we've never had a national champion before, uh, so it's pretty exciting. Uh, but we've had a team that's really gotten a lot better over the years. Ever since, like my freshman year. I think we got sixth in the Ivy League. Um, and we had one guy going to NC2As, and this year we've had six. Um, and I think what this will do is really fire up all the other guys on the team. So, like, you know, you can do this. Like, you don't have to go to Texas or Cal to, to win a national championship or even make it to national championships. You can be anyone. So uh, I, I think if this motivates people to really work hard all year and try to be here, then I'd say it's a success. You mentioned you had one swimmer at NCAAs your freshman year, Brendan McHugh. Yeah. What has he meant for the program and for you personally? Uh, he's been great. Um, a few of us knew him. Uh, he was well, the GPAC guy, right? Yeah. He actually wasn't around my freshman year. Okay. He was the year before. Oh, okay. Me. But he's actually come back mm -hmm, right. uh, this year to train for trials, and it's been great, you know. Uh, his, his brothers have been on the team, and he's always – hard on them, you know, in ways that like maybe we can't be. Uh, but he's done a great job in inspiring other people. Like like I said before, like no one would expect uh, a Penn student or a Penn alumni to be doing big things. And I mean, I was incredibly motivated when he broke the, I think it was the U.S. Open record right. in the 50 breaststroke. Like that was huge. Mm -hmm. We went wild for that. Like it's a Penn swimmer for, for goodness sakes. So, like it's, it's, it's really cool. And, He's done a great job in inspiring other people on the team, as well as just fitting in well. What What's your future aquatically now? Um, you know, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'll be at trials, um, but after that, I'm, I'm not really sure. Right now I have a job lined up, so uh, that I'm, I'm really excited about. So I'll probably stick with that, but. Making hand paddles or investment banking? Not, not quite. Uh, I'm working for Anheuser-Busch for a, like a global management trainee program. So you drink your way through your day. <laughs> I'll be helping other people drink their way. <laughs> Jeez. Um, so it's been a pretty good night of swimming. I'm not sure if you followed it from the warm down pool and oh, the yeah. drug testing, but yep. so you got you had sort of the race of the night and then you're followed up by four American records. What was that like yeah. to 
to see that uh, sort of as the encore. You know, I was kind of bummed that I couldn't provide people with an American record. But <laughs> that was your best time by a lot, though, right? Yeah, I think it's uh, nine seconds. Um, I mean, I couldn't be happier with my own race. But yeah, it's it's wild seeing all these other guys. I mean, we were watching the 200 fly with, uh, or I was watching the 200 fly with all the guys who were drug testing us, and all of us were kind of freaking out about that incredible comeback from uh, schooling. And I mean, just everything's been crazy. Yeah. It's been um, fun meet. You got, you got mobbed at the end of the race by your teammates. They're standing over there by your lane as you yeah. get out. Uh, just talk me through the emotions that are going through your body, or the, the, through your mind at that point, and how you sort of summon the energy to get out of the water that quickly after a mile, especially one so fast. Um, well, I don't think really anyone expected the results, uh, like those results. I mean, I think I was just trying to go for a top eight finish, because uh, last year that's, that was the goal, and I ended up 11th. Uh, so really anything in the top eight, I think we would have been very excited. Um, but I mean, they've just been great throughout my whole time at Penn. Like we've had a huge alumni base come back and watch this. My, my whole family's here, so there's been a lot of support that that I have that I would not be where I am right now without. Yeah. Um, and it's just wonderful that they're here to witness this. Because uh, I mean, as much as great as it is for me, like it's also great for them. Like they're just as excited as I am, if, if not more. <laughs> yeah. You are currently doing more traffic than Will Lacone and Ryan Murphy <laughs> on our <laughs> website. People are excited about this swim. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I, people like the underdog, <laughs> <laughs> the little guy. <laughs> it didn't surprise you? Uh, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people like cheering for the little guy. Um, you know, the, the people went nuts when Middle Tennessee beat Michigan State. So, <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of that, kind of that vibe. I think if there's any race that embodies March Madness, it would have been that mile just the way back and forth. Uh, thanks so much for your time, man. Awesome no swim tonight, um, and good luck at Olympic trials. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate it. it.